Billie Eilish is the ultimate teen pop icon, but things weren't always this way. That's because she's a teenager. Her career started just a few years back. She was a kid 10 years ago. So let's go back to 10 years ago with Billie Eilish's early life. Of course Billie Eilish isn't called Billie Eilish. Her full name is Billie Eilish Pirate Baird O'Connell. She was born in Los Angeles, California on December 18th, 2001. She's the daughter of actress and former theater troupe teacher Maggie Baird. She has around 50 acting jobs if you search her or IMDb. She even played in Walker, Texas Ranger in one episode. She's the voice of Sumira in Mass Effect, but that's about it. And Billie Eilish's father, Patrick O'Connell is also an actor. He has half the appearances of his wife. Most notably, he was a reporter in the Iron Man 3 movie. Both of them are also musicians. Eilish is of Irish and Scottish descent. She was conceived via in vitro fertilization and brought up in the Highland Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. Billy has a brother, Phineas. They were both homeschooled in an environment that sounds fluid and freeing. Her parents followed her every creative whim, horse riding, dancing, piano lessons. Eilish even worked shifts at the ranch in exchange for riding lessons and says that despite the lack of income, both parents being part-time actors meant they prioritized putting their spare cash into creative endeavors. Beer taught Eilish and Phineas the basics of songwriting. Eilish said her brother and mother inspired her to get into music. Eilish also performed at talent shows and joined the Los Angeles Children's Chorus at the age of 8. She wrote her first real song at the age of 11 for her mother's songwriting class. The song is about the zombie apocalypse inspired by the TV series The Walking Dead in a time that it was still good. She took script lines from the show and episode titles that she added to the song as part of the assignment. Eilish had gone on some acting auditions, which she disliked, however she enjoyed recording background dialogue for crowd scenes and work on the films Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Romomona and Beezus and the X-Men series. Eilish was raised as a vegetarian and is a regular advocate on social media for animal rights and veganism. Her career started in 2015. 13 years old Eilish began working on songs with her brother Phineas, who had been writing and producing for several years and had his own band. The four songs that we worked on, we didn't write together. He wrote the song called She's Broken and I wrote one called Fingers Crossed. Then we recorded them and put them out on SoundCloud just for fun, she recalls. On November 2015, Eilish released the song Ocean Eyes. The track was written, mixed and produced by Phineas, who had written and produced it originally for his band The Slightlies, before realizing it would be a better fit for Eilish's vocals. He gave it to Eilish when her dance teacher at the Revolution Dance Center asked them to write a song for choreography. They uploaded the song to SoundCloud, where the teacher could access and download it. The song received several hundred thousand listens in two weeks, and Phineas's manager reached out to him to discuss Eilish's potential. In his opinion, she could achieve significant success with Phineas's help. In January 2016, Phineas and his manager arranged a deal in which Apple Music signed Eilish to a company specialized in packaging emerging artists before they get a major label contract. Eilish then got a publicist who connected her to the luxury fashion brand Chanel and the stylist, both of whom helped shape her image. On March 2016, a music video for Ocean Eyes, directed by Megan Thompson, was premiered on Eilish's official YouTube channel. Ocean Eyes and Eilish would receive praise and promotion from various media outlets and marketeers, including radio stations and music supervisors such as Beats One, KCRW, BBC One, Zane Lowe, Jason Kramer, Annie Mack and Chris Duridis. On June 2016, Phineas and Eilish released Six Feet Under to SoundCloud as her second single. A homemade music video for the song was released and it was directed by Eilish and edited by her mother, Maggie Baird. In August 2017, Darkroom released Eilish's Don't Smile At Me, an eight-song EP written by Eilish and Phineas. The EP was reissued with a bonus track in December 2017, Two more bonus tracks were added in later reissues. Following its release, Don't Smile At Me picked on 14 on the Billboard 200 chart. Billie Eilish recorded two songs for Netflix's 30 Reasons Why. She featured on the season 1 soundtrack with Bored and on the season 2 soundtrack with her hit Khalid collaboration Lovely. In March 2019, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go was released. The album debuted atop Billboard 200 as well as on the UK Albums chart, making Eilish the first artist born in the 2000s to have a number one album in the United States and the youngest female ever to have a number one album in the United States. 
United Kingdom. Upon the album's debut, Eilish broke the record for most simultaneously charting Hot 100 songs by a female artist with 14 after every song from the album charted on the Hot 100. The fifth single from the album, Bad Guy, was released in conjunction with the album. A remix of the song featuring Justin Bieber was released in July 2019. In August, Bad Guy peaked at number one in the US. Eilish's music drew inspiration from hip-hop artists such as Childish Gambino and Tyler the Creator. Her debut album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, was released on March the 29th, 2019 and reached number one on the Billboard 200 chart. The song Bad Guy from the album was Eilish's first number one single on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and it won a Grammy in 2020 for Song of the Year. The album also won Album of the Year. In 2019, Eilish also released the single Everything I Wanted and it later was awarded the Grammy for Record of the Year. The documentary Billie Eilish The World's A Little Blurry appeared in 2021. Eilish released her second studio album, Happier Than Ever, which was noted for its confessional songs, a number of which deal with the downside of her celebrity. Records and Awards On January 2020, Eilish was announced as performer of the title track for the 25th installment in the James Bond film franchise, No Time To Die, written and produced with her brother. With this announcement, Eilish became the youngest artist to write and perform a James Bond theme song at 18 years of age. Shortly after, it became the second Bond theme song to top the British official charts and the first Bond theme performed by a female artist to do so. It was also Eilish's first number one single in the UK. At the 62nd Grammy Awards, she became the youngest person and first woman to win the four main Grammy categories, Best New Artist, Record of the Year, Song of the Year and Album of the Year in the same year. Eilish also became the youngest Album of the Year winner, but not by a particularly dramatic distance, Taylor Swift was 20 when she won in 2010 for Fearless. She is only the fourth female artist ever to win Album of the Year with a debut album. Before Eilish, only three female artists had won Album of the Year with debut albums. Barbara Streisand was the first in 1964, Laurelyn Hill in 1999 and Nora Jones in 2003. Beyond the Grammys, Eilish broke the record for most streams on Spotify in one year for a female. In 2019, with 6 billion streams, she also became became the youngest female artist to reach number one on album charts in the UK at 17 years of age. Additionally, Eilish was the most searched for female and most searched for musician in 2019. She's the first artist born in the 2000s and the youngest artist since Lord with Royals to have a number one single. Lord was 16 at the time, Eilish was 17. With Bad Guy, Eilish also became the first person born this century to have a number one hit song. In May 2021, Eilish broke the record for having the most viewed Wikipedia page for a post-millennial, Gen Z. According to the Guinness World Records, Eilish's page had 39 million views when she broke the record. Gen Z's are born from 1995 to 2010. Eilish also surpassed Beck and Alanis Morissette as the only other artists with three number one hits on Billboard's alternative song charts. She was also named Billboard's 2019 Woman of the Year, becoming the youngest artist to earn the honor and the only teenager ever. The same year, Rolling Stones named When We All Fall Asleep the best-selling album of 2019 of the year. Public image. Much of the media attention surrounding Eilish has revolved around her image, her fashion style, which consists primarily of baggy, oversized clothing. In 2017, she stated that she likes dressing out of her comfort zone to feel like she grabs the attention of everyone around her. She tries to be really different from a lot of people and dresses opposite to what others wear. Aiming to look memorable, Eilish said that she proved to people that she's more important than they think and likes being kind of intimidating, so people will listen up. In 2019, she stated, over time it's kind of become a thing, Billie Eilish, the creepy weird scary girl. And I don't like that, it's lame, I just don't want to stay one thing. In May 2019, Eilish appeared in a Calvin Klein advertisement where she mentioned that she dresses in baggy clothes to prevent people from judging her body. In March 2020, in a live show in Miami as part of the Where Do We Go tour, she premiered Not My Responsibility, a short film which addresses her experiences of body shaming. Not My Responsibility was later uploaded to Eilish's YouTube channel in May 2020. In June 2021, she was on the cover of British-issued 
Vogue, the photo shoot by Craig McDean featured her dressed in lingerie, specifically focused on corsets. It's safe to say Billie Eilish made people talk when she appeared on the cover of British Vogue, sporting a drastically different look than we're used to seeing. Still, she refuses to be shamed for how she dresses or the fact that she might change her style over the years. Suddenly, you're a hypocrite if you want to show your skin and you're a slut and you're a whore, she told Vogue. If I am, then I'm proud. Me and all the girls are horse and f it you know let's turn it around and be empowered in that showing your body and showing your skin or not should not take any respect away from you the cover shoot which coincided with the release of billy's new single your power shows the 19 year old rocking her new blonde hair and the corset reminiscent of pinup styles she went on to explain that she chose to wear a corset because she's insecure about her stomach, preempting any backlash she may receive for the decision by saying body positivity is all about what makes you feel good. I love these pictures and I loved this shoot, the singer wrote in an Instagram post unveiling the photos, do whatever you want, whenever you want, f everything else. Of course, the photos caused a storm online. Bill's post of the cover became the fastest Instagram photo to reach 1 million likes, doing so in under 6 minutes. She also has an A-list fan club. Billie Eilish is among the most prominent singers, especially during recent times. Among other people, many celebrities are also huge fans of her. In a recent interview, Elton John said, talent like hers doesn't come along very often and refer to her as one of the most talented young ladies he's ever heard. At Poster Live, the largest music conference in the United States, Dave Grohl from Nirvana told the audience, my daughters are obsessed with Billie Eilish. The same thing is happening with her that happened with Nirvana in 1991. People say, is rock dead? When I look at someone like Billie Eilish, rock and roll is not close to that. Katy Perry has often expressed how impressed she is with Billie Eilish during various interviews and posted a photo with Eilish at Coachella saying beings like her don't enter our orbit often. In an interview with leading entertainment daily, Julia Roberts said that Billie Eilish is everything. Julia loves the fact that Eilish collaborates with her brother Phineas to make incredible music that she's fallen in love with. She posted an extremely candid picture with Billie, giving the picture an adorable caption. The caption read, I heart Billy Eilish. Sam Smith had the time of his life jamming out to Billy's music when he saw her perform in London. Lord also praised Billy's cover of Michael Jackson's Bad. Depression. Things are not always such as peachy as they look like. Billy spoke to Rolling Stone about her mental health saying she experienced depression from ages 13 to 16 which also involved self-harm. She said that now, at 17, she hasn't been depressed in a minute, but the singer said she has experienced panic attacks related to her lifestyle, something she hadn't had before she got famous. At 13, Billy said her depression started after a bad hip injury during a dance class, which left her unable to continue dancing. That's when Billy said she first started self-harming. I think that's when the depression started, she told Rolling Stone. It sent me down a hole, I went through a whole self-harming phase, we don't have to go into it, but the gist of it was, I felt like I deserved to be in pain. During that time, Billy started to gain success, a time in her life, Billy said, it's funny, when anyone else thinks about Billie Eilish at 14, they think of all the good things that happened, she said, but all I can think of is how miserable I was, how completely distraught and confused 13 to 16 was pretty rough. Billy's experience shows that no matter how good someone's life seems, like it should be from the outside, mental health factors can still surface. That's why people who experience anxiety and depression get frustrated when people say things like, what do you have to be sad about? Or, but you're doing so well in this part of your life. Why not just focus on that? Those questions aren't helpful because mental health doesn't always depend on career success or an exciting advancement in your personal life. Someone can still experience a dark time while it seems good things are happening to them. But at 17, Billy said she hasn't felt depressed in a while and she's enjoying it. She has, however, experienced panic attacks recently, which she said is a new thing to happen to her. That was one of the hardest weeks I've ever had, Billy said of a week while she was being interviewed for the Rolling Stone profile, which was right before her recent tour. It was a week when she had some time off, just before a long period of traveling. I've never felt more hopeless in my life, I had a panic attack every single night, I cried for two hours every night, it was really, really bad. The panic attacks, Billy said, stemmed from her having to leave the comfort of home, where she had just gone to visit horse stables to see if she could lease a horse to improve her mental health. 
I just couldn't take the fact that I had to live again, Billy said, it felt like an endless limbo, like there was no end in sight. And I mean, it's true, there really is no end in sight with touring. Knowing that she had to head out on tour and that she needed to feel better before doing it, Billy went to see a therapist. Her job as an entertainer especially forces her to learn how to deal with issues in better ways. I can go cry somewhere, she said. I can go scream and be mad. I have to work. However, even though Eilish is doing well these days, she still sees herself in some fans who come to her show with scars on their arms. It breaks my heart. Although she can't exactly cure their depression with a snap of her fingers, Eilish does try to comfort fans with her words. I've said to a couple of them, just be nice to yourself, because I know I was there. Billie Eilish has spoken candidly about living with Tourette's syndrome multiple times. Talking to The Fader about it in 2019, Billie said, the internet hasn't really seen the bad ticks because I'm really good at suppressing them. The thing is, the longer you suppress them, the worse they get afterwards. I'm sure one day everyone will see the tick attacks that happen when I'm stressed and I haven't slept, but it could be a lot worse and when it's not, I'm grateful for that. She also suffers from synesthesia. And that's all for today, that's Billie Eilish. I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope you enjoy her music. I stumbled over her while listening SoundCloud at 1 in the morning. I heard the first 30 seconds of Bad Guy. I don't know what happened with me, I should have searched the song on YouTube. I assumed, I don't know why, that I wouldn't find it on YouTube because I never heard of Billie Eilish and I just thought I will find the song on a paid service like Apple Music. So I subscribed to Apple Music to hear her song and I listened to her song, I don't know, 30 times that night. That's all, I like to thank the newcomers. There are a few dozens of them. I'm Alex and until next time beware of falling apples.